What's up guys, Dr. Aaron McElhinney here with Revival Performance Physical Therapy. And today I'm going to be showing you guys an exercise for your serratus anterior. That's that little zigzag muscle here on the skinny guys that you can see that wraps around to your shoulder blade and helps upwardly rotate that shoulder blade or your scapula. So it helps get the chromium out of the way from pinching in the shoulder right up here. So it also, I'm going to do this with what I call a touchdown exercise. So with external rotation, isometric mostly in your shoulder external rotators. So that's going to be mostly kind of your infraspinatus. These guys look right in here. That's going to be pulling this apart like that, maintaining that tension there. And then you're going to be pressing up and that's going to be working that serratus interior, but doing this with a foam roller here. So again, you're going to keep them here and press up. So with, with your arms, think about keeping those arms. See how it's kind of like a touchdown here. They're parallel to each other. You want to think about those staying parallel and not going out like that. So it stays perfectly parallel, just like that. So here, I'll show it to you. So putting this on the wall here, put a little bit of pressure on it so it, that it's not just um, really, really light, but keep a little bit of pressure on it so you're almost in like a little bit of a plank. If this is too easy, you can put this on the ground or on a bed of some sort so it's a little bit more intense. And then put that pressure out to keep those forearms um, parallel to each other. And then you're using your shoulder blades to do the press up. So you're pressing up with the shoulder blades and bringing it back down. It's not a whole lot of motion. You're just trying to maintain all the right muscles working and contracting. So keeping the arms in parallel, keeping them going straight up in the air, just like that. So your elbows stay in, they don't flare out. They stay in just like that. Another thing some people might want to try to do wrong is they'll let their back like arch like this. So keep some tension in your core and in your bottom so that you're in a little bit of a, a good position for your low back. Just like that. So contracting that, going up, going back down. Another thing for the neck, try not to be here where your neck is really contract or really uh, extended at the at the back there. So keep a little bit of a chin tuck as you go up and down. Just like that. So do the prescribed amount. It's pretty tough, so you'll feel good burn. Have fun.